Hi, it's Nick S. Welcome to my new video. This is what I'm looking forward to getting or what's coming out Friday for Friday, September 15th, 2020. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, and get uh, hit the dinghy to get notified for future videos. Anyway, um, there are an incredible 27 albums coming out th this week of note, including the title that I think is going to be the title of the year. And hint, it's the first, actually the second catalog title to go to my list of for album of the week. Anyway, the list starts like this. Country singer Leanne Rimes was, it was a hit back in 1996 when she won the Grammy for Best New Artist. And had hits, she had hits in the 90s like Blue, How Do I Live, Big Deal, and in the 2000s, I Need You and Can't Fight the Moonlight. She's back with a new album. Tracks album's called God's Work. That's out tomorrow. Alternative uh, or AAA rockers Day, uh, Day Glow have two of their older albums finally coming out on CD. One is called Harmony House and the other is called Fuzzy Brain and that leads up to a new album due out later this fall. Death Cab for Cutie with Ben Gibbard as the leader have a new album coming out tomorrow. It's called Asphalt Meadows. Lang Lang, the classical pianist, has a Disney album coming out tomorrow. Two CD, the Disney uh, book. Featured on the album are artists as varied as Andrea Bocelli and John Baptiste, among others. Okay, an album by Anashaka Shanker, I hope I pronounced that right, Manu Delago, and Metapole Orcas and Jules Berkeley. Between Us comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow, you may know Anishaka Shankar as Nora Jones' sister and Ravi Shankar, the great Indian uh, sitarist, uh, uh, that's his daughter, other daughter. Hold on. Okay, hold on, let me go back here and get it again. Pink Floyd has a new album coming out tomorrow. The album is called Animals and it's a 2018 remix of the al great album from 1977, which most people regard in high. I think they're better Pink Floyd albums, but <clears throat> in a lot of people's eyes, it's one of their favorites. Anyway, the album uh, is remixed. There's a Blu-ray version of it. There's other fun versions of it. There are no outtakes as a lawsuit prevented them from including them on the box set. If you're going to buy the box set, just know there are no outtakes. There is a version of one disc, which is what I've chosen to get, just the remix. Don't need the extras. Don't see a reason for it. Okay, give me a second. Okay, we're good. Now we're good. Okay. Dance artist Calvin Harris is out with a new album. It's a part two, volume two of Funk Wave Bounce. And it's an, a choice that my wife is very happy about because I'm going to get her a copy of it. Rockers The Who, H-U, the H-U or The Who, have a new album out tomorrow. Rumble <laughs> Thunder. We see the release of the first solo album from Mumford & Sons leader, Marcus Mumford. Carrie Mulligan's husband, Marcus, comes out with an album called Self-Titled. And Target is offering an autographed deluxe Amazon exclusive. Sorry. <coughs> Amazon is offering an autographed deluxe Amazon exclusive. Country trio, Little Big Towns, or actually country four people, I don't know how quart quart quartet, I guess it's called, um, Mr. Sun, but Little Big Town is due out tomorrow. Don't know the style this album is going to be, but it looks really good. Um, Adrian Smith and Richie Kotzen. You may remember Richie Kotzen as Poison's guitarist after C.C. DeVille in 1993. Adrian Smith and, and Richie Kotzen released a second album called Better Days and Nights. It's live recordings, and I believe tracks from an EP that came out on Record Store Day. The Heavy Heavy have a new album out tomorrow, Life and Life Only. Ringo Starr is not doing albums. He says he's not going to record any more albums. We'd love him to do another album. I beg you, Ringo, please do another album. Not through with your EP strategy, but EP3 comes out tomorrow, and it features artists like the Scenes Music Factory's Zelma Davis, Four Nine Blondes, um, I don't remember her name, Four Nine Blondes Linda Perry, among others. Okay, Queen's Scotland Revival comes out with an album tomorrow at the Royal Albert Hall. The album was 
uh, mixed or remixed, or you can call it again, by Giles Martin of the Beatles fame. That's George Martin's son, who's doing all the great Beatles mixes. So it should sound absolutely wonderful. Wednesday, I'll give my opinion on that. Okay, another one that's going to coming out that's going to sound wonderful is Blue Train, Blue Note Tone Poet series, stereo complete mixes by uh, John Coltrane. It's two CD. It's got the stereo mixes and it's got the uh, bonus tracks. For vinyls, there is a mono mix also available. And I don't think it has the bonus tracks. Head over to Mike from the InGroove in, in Phoenix, Arizona. His uh, page, his new release site, does a pretty in-depth on the vinyl. Okay, M Michelle Branch uh, has a new album coming out tomorrow. The Trouble with Fever. Michelle had hits in the 1990s, like Goodbye to You. Um, and um, Breathe, among others. I know they're probably bigger ones, but those are the two I remember offhand. We have an artist by the name of Andrea. Spanish Villager number three coming out tomorrow. Starcrawler comes out tomorrow, she said. Country vocalist Mitchell Tenpenny comes out tomorrow with well, This is the Heavy. If you remember in the 1990s and the movie Benny and June, the Proclaimers had a hit with I Will Be, I'm Gonna Be 500 Miles. The song originally came out on their Sunshine and Leaf album in 1988 and was a hit in 1993 from that movie. Well, a new album by the Proclaimers called Departures Out comes out tomorrow. Ja a new jazz artist, I'm going to get her name quickly, Samara Joy comes out tomorrow with Linger Anyway. And Linger a while, excuse me. Um, we are we the Kingdom, the Christian rockers, come out with a new album tomorrow, We the Kingdom. Next up is the album I think is going to be number one on the Billboard 200 album chart, if a new album goes number one and beats Bad Bunny. It is K-Popper's Blackpink, and they have deluxe editions. They don't release their albums in single discs packaging. You've got to shell out $40 for this. But hey, digitally it won't be $40. It's called Born Pink. Black Pink. Um, Fletcher releases her first album. It's called Girl of My Dreams. It comes out tomorrow. Rina Sawayama. Is that with an album tomorrow? Hold the Girl. And then we have my album of the week. Now, as I said, it belongs to a comp it belongs to a um, archival release. Very rare that an archival release wins album of the week. It did for the Toy Box by David Bowie by default. This one's by no means a default. It is the most anticipated album of the week, of the year probably so far in my eyes. Being that I'm a giant fan of this artist, Miles Davis releases the Bootleg Series number seven. That's what happened, 1982 to 1985. Tomorrow, it's a bootleg series. Two discs of, of outtakes and missed stuff. The first from the album. I'm not remembering the name of the album. The first from the from the 1982 album. 80, I think 283 album. I don't remember which name which album it was again. And then the second disc is outtakes from the album You're Under Arrest, which has a cover of Miles of Miles doing Tina Turner's number one smash of three weeks in the, around this time in 1984. What's I've got to do with it? And the last disc is a, is, a, is a live concert in Toronto. If you bought the record that was released last Record Store Day in June, the Record Store Day release is um, the thir that third disc of, of the Toronto concert. It's going to be, if, if it's anything like any of the other uh, bootleg series things and what I've heard so far, it's going to be phenomenal. So I hope uh, these will get here sooner than later. I will give an update to whether, whether they came in or not uh, on Wednesday. Um, I hope you found something new you like this week. I'm Nick the CD Man. This is the CD Man channel. I'm out. If you like this video, subscribe. Hit the like button and hit the dinghy to get notified. Hit the bell to get notified, excuse me. I'm Nick the CD Man. I'm out. Have a great day and keep us in the physical media.